We could go two and five. It's pretty good. I think I like it. And we'll see if we can get a, you know, uh, an imp. There's a, most imps like cost one, right? So one cost imp, which will go down to zero, goes a long way here. A long freaking way. That's what I'm talking about. This thing's deadly too. Sheesh. So this will go here and it becomes a deadly 4-4. Ridiculous. Look at this field now. Look at Yeti, absolutely. Like, what is he supposed to do about this this board now, man? What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, we're bringing back, first of all, one of my favorite decks of all time. I'm talking about just in terms of how fun this deck is to play. This is the Neptuna Flag Conjure deck. Uh, we're doing this with a lot of new changes, trying a couple of new ideas, and I think this is going to be... Uh, really good, and it'll definitely be a lot of fun. The Flag Conjure concept comes from these two cards, of course. Flag Zombie, which makes your zombies cost one less, and then uh, Space Time, which every card you conjure costs one less. And these abilities stack very well together. First of all, you can play Flag Zombie with a bunch of your one-drops all on turn two. So running 12 one-drops, of course, with Flag Zombie. Uh, you just pass turn one and play, you know, wh however many zombie middle managers and stuff you have on turn two. Now, there's another combo on turn Turn three, which is where you play Flag Zombie, and then you're able to play Space Time that turn. You're also able to play it together with a couple of Conjure cards. You can play Buried Treasure first, and then Space Time is a cost zero. Uh, and then the card you conjure now not only costs two less, one from Buried Treasure, it's a legendary, costs one less from Buried Treasure, one less from Space Time, but also that turn it costs one less from flag zombie so if it's like even a you know a three cost legendary can be played for zero that turn or it could just be played the next turn for really really cheap same thing goes really with the middle manager uh, again you're playing this for zero and the card that it conjures will cost one less from flag and then again one less from space time uh, so in this version of the deck we're going to be running raptor which every single time you conjure a card it's going to grow so this is going to be a huge threat at three cost thing will easily have 6-8 attack and even more in this deck. Of course, running going viral, which will uh, buff all your cards, so you can really make your Raptor's Frenzy. You can also stick anything into a laser base alpha, especially Raptor, and even it's like space time, even just space time on two, laser base alpha on turn three, that whatever they're fronting with space time, trying to prevent you from conjuring all those cheap cards, OP cards, almost every card in the game, if you reduce its cost by one, is overpowered. Uh, so this will actually enable you to not only kill the minion they fronted space time with, but also conjure an extra card that turn. Really strong combo. So really, uh, the focus of what we're doing here, and this is the reason why I'm kind of doing the deck again, is to run Chungus Yeti. In the past, I've run Warlord, but really the, uh, the, the Chungus Yeti, the Primeval Yeti, uh, is a really good combo when you, with Flag Zombie. Because again, Flag, you're running with a whole bunch of, uh, you know, one drops, so you can do the Flag combo. But there's another combo you do on turn four, which is playing a one drop for free because you have Flag Zombie on the field. And then you can play the Primeval Yeti, which will buff all these little cards you're spamming on the board and give them not only make a 6 6 body, but give everything else 2 2. So a way of getting a lot of immediate value <clears throat> if you have the Flag Zombie. Other Conjure card we're running, which is interesting, is Cosmic Sports Star. It's one of the better Cosmic cards because it makes one a really OP card in your hand. Usually it costs two less. Uh, again, if you have Flag Zombie on the field, then you're playing this for two and then the card it conjures costs three less. Uh, if you have Space Time, then you'll be playing this for three, but it's still, again, what well, the card it conjures will cost three less. So you can very easily play this and the big, you know, sometimes it'll be, um, it could be a free sumo, but sometimes it'll just be like a free coach or a... Uh, a all-star or a, or, a, or a, even a knight that just costs a lot less there's a bunch of expensive sports cards you can play high value since it's not running removal so again we have two copies of the barrel barrels should be good it's also a conjure card good with all these little uh cards or the high health space time and it'll make kill things for free and of course we're running again the laser base alpha both as a finisher for after you play your chungus or your raptor and in order to be able to remove your opponent's cards. No Pogo Mug in this version. Let's see how this deck does. I'm actually really excited. Uh, really been looking for an excuse to anyway play Flag Conjure. If you haven't watched that video, go look it up on YouTube because that was, I'm seriously, that was one of the most fun. I, I, I After we did that stream offline, like I'll play a little P-Zeros offline. I was just playing Flag Conjure for like a month because it's just such a fun deck. Uh, so again, I'm back into zombie mode. I have like a big, like usually like two weeks playing plants and then two weeks playing zombies. I'm playing a lot of plant decks lately, but 
this is definitely the exciting deck that's going to maybe get me back into zombies and we'll get some more zombie ideas. Uh, let's do bets, though. The games, actually, this deck wins, wins games and wins pretty fast. We'll see how this new version does. If you think this will do 8 out of 10, vote yeah. 7 and 3 or fewer vote no over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry up. It's got to make a decision. Uh, should we be mulliganing for flag zombie here? We need a leap. I'm going to, well, this ain't bad. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll just keep this in. I can't watch this deck on stream because I got to sleep. But it's amazing that you're doing a deck from my recommendation. Kinda uh, a dream or something I thought would never happen. Thank you, Woof de Oof. And someone did. I was literally just, uh, if I looked a little distracted there at the end of the intro, I was look, trying to look up and see if I wrote down who gave me this idea. And I didn't even write your name. But thank you, Woof de Oof. People show me decks at the end of the streams. You don't see that on YouTube, so you gotta come to the live stream for that. They use their fries that they're betting. Um, we'll, we'll play this here, it doesn't really matter where. Sorry, I'm just roping this guy. But yeah, we use the, uh, they use the fries and show me the decks. I get a lot of these ideas. Again, this is not the exact deck list that was sent to me, but they'll give me an idea like Chungus with Flag Conjure, and I'll, I'll kind of put my, my twist and try to really make it work as a deck that's gonna, you know, that's gonna win some games. I, I think for now I'll play around Bog and, and, uh, Spike weed sector and play this on Heinz. So there's a there's a lot of a lot of things we could do here. We can go for the cosmic sports star. It's a little bit risky. We could just go for Raptor and maybe start spamming these next turn. This will probably not. He has to draw two cards to kill the. The the the, the I'm, I'm gonna play it like this. So this the card that this conjures also will cost less. Due to the space time. He doesn't really have a lot of great answers to this on turn three. We'll see, he might be able to draw two cards, but this card's gonna be insane next turn. We'll we'll probably just give it frenzy. And uh, we are conjuring something for free, which is awesome. Again, it makes it always a oh two costs for less, so it might be a, a cheap two draw. Give me a quasar. Oh, that's fine. <coughs> so there's going viral. That's cool. <coughs> I probably want to play Frenzy or Viral here. I'm just thinking about the Cosmic. I'm going to start with this, and we'll see what we conjure here. That uh, is too expensive. So I can play one of these, and then not play Going Viral. I could just play Going Viral, too. This does a lot of damage here. A lot, a lot. I think I'm not going to play going viral this turn, so I'm just going to develop this. And we'll play Frenzy here. And we'll play going viral to keep this alive an extra turn next turn. Shrinking Violet, ugh. Yeah. Maybe Ninja would have been better. This is fine, though. We're hitting him for, uh... For six, this will grow again. Teleport, nice. It's another card that actually buffs this. Teleport something going viral, looks pretty good. <coughs> Stracano. Let's see what we get. It kills the Astro. Where do you get this from? Oh, lucky. So this can't obviously live against 5 damage, but we're getting pretty decent damage here on the field. It's 15 going the west. Decent shrinking violet from here. We'll be down to 6 now. Here's 2. It's just about us, you know, proccing the block and trying to get this last bit of damage in here. So the professional, too, so. Isn't it professional? Yeah, so cool. Raiding Rapture conjured a professional card, which will buff Middle Manager. I, I like another going viral, I think. So, like, 
It, there's no real way of playing around shrink, second shrinking violet. Unless we go four. And then we're playing into grave removal. I think it's going to be one, one, three. Let's see what we get. Uh, might as well play the professional card that buffs these two. It'll help us maybe get some more damage here. Ugh. Did I not do the bets? I thought I didn't. And he does play Shrinking Violet, so we just lose. We lose on, you know, Shrinking Violet. It's something that can really do a lot of damage against this deck. And uh, there's nothing that will actually save us here. There's no point in drawing a card. Too bad. Wait, did there only 33% of people vote yes for this deck? Wow. Okay. Well, so far it's going your way. We are 0-1. Let's see if we can actually get Flag Zombie this time. It would be nice. There you go. Hell yeah, I'll keep that. Oh, thanks guys. Oh, so we, we probably just go on turn two now, yeah. So it's gonna be... You... Conjure first, why not? And double genetic experiment. Such a strong play for turn two. Look at this. These cards are three, two, and then, you know, he can answer what one of these, maybe with a berry blast, but he's just falling really, really far behind. That's good. Banana, interesting. So we'll play space time here and uh, maybe blow. Is California all I? And it's been my, uh, I don't know, I'm like a lot of people blocking really, really heavy lately. We'll do the, the space time blow first and then we'll do the laser later. Wow, okay. What the heck is he doing though? That doesn't even trade well. And time to shine, he's using that too. Holy crap, that was a, such a terrible use of superpowers. I know it says he has full blocks here, but he actually blocked already. That's why I had two superpowers there. Just a visual bug. Yeah, sometimes has. <coughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're absolutely rolling right now. Uh, we'll just develop a laser. You know, the space time, this will proc the block. Space time's a threat. And this is the damage threat. Well, that's hitting face now. This guy, come on, man. And his meteor power does not take care of this, so it's a really, really good laser base alpha. Five damage to face, killing the Captain Cucumber. That's how it's done. He can play none of his superpowers even. Okay, that will. Well, yeah, meteor. It's still fine. It's a three for one. And the Raptor is just gonna go in really nicely here. It's a playable environment. There's actually something we can play next turn, so it's not a bad conjure, even though it's not a great end. I think this at one would have been an okay idea. Would have been. Pass downs. It's too late. It's cool that when the space time conjures a card this crowd, we only need two damage anyway. He goes for Cobb. Randall Cobb Cannon. So he blocks, but he already used his time to shine, so this will actually just conjure a card and kill the, the colonel, the, the cop cannon. Which he conjured. No lethal yet, but we're getting close. New ninja? 
Uh, so we'll go with this. I'm actually gonna go with the gravestone against Captain Combustible since we just need the one. The one health, and I'll go with going viral. He's not gonna be able to take care of all this anyway, so. <coughs> Got him. Getting, getting flag zombies is pretty important. I'm gonna maybe try to mulligan a little bit harder for it. The first game, I kind of settled for a decent starting hand, which was fine. I don't really want to get, you know, like two Chungus Yetis when you're starting hands. A little bricky. It's the only card that really bricks, though. I guess you could get a few laser based alphas, too. It's not so likely. Uh, we need the mulligan. We need the mulligan. I wonder if you get rid of going viral on a deck like this, though. Middle manager is actually a pretty good card to play on one against Solar Flare. Would I ditch? Would I ditch going viral? I don't actually know how important going viral is in this deck. My gut is to keep it. I can also save this for later and get a better conjure. <laughs> I think this is fine. Are there any pets in the stack? We have the raptor. So that's super, that's okay. I mean, he, he uses that. He kills half a card, essentially. It also means we can play space on the ground, so. Ah, Probably, why do you love me so much? Why do you love me so much? Um. Do you just hammer my space time, bruh? It's just a setup play. We'll hopefully get. That's pretty good on turn four against Solar Flare. Really good against Solar Flare on four. Especially in this control deck. Looking like he's using a lot of tricks. So this is gonna. This is actually gonna dominate the game right now. This is crazy right now. Absolutely nothing he can do. I mean, Squash costs seven. Ridiculous play. We're gonna give this frenzy too and go from there. I'll set up two more threats maybe next turn. Oh. Wow! That's actually an answer. Holy crap! Electric blueberry! Oh. Okay, is there anything we can do about this guy? Man, well, if we put a bunch of, of, of dudes on the field. I can also give this frenzy, which will help. So we go 2 1 1 frenzy. Looks pretty good. Man, though. That's crazy. Uh, so this will go here. This will go here, I think. Then we'll play this one. And Frenzy, the defense event. Which is doing a lot, but... Man, he's running Ice for Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's doing nothing. I don't think we use the Frenzy here, though. Oh. Conjure. Binary, yeah, that's cool. Against Solar Flare, too. Okay. Hopefully, it just kills something bad. Okay. I was thinking of frenzying this in the 1 in 4 chance it gets hit, but. I don't know. So, 4 1 and 1 is a play. There's also 3. Uh, I guess that's it. Frenzy goes a long way here with the binary stars. Really, it kind of activates it. Cherry bomb. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this guy! Answers to everything. Crazy. I mean, 4 and 6 to face just wins. There's no reason to frenzy here. Ugh. I hope this goes face and we block. It'll give us a chance. Uh, I think protecting this and getting a card is good. It means it's alive for next turn. 
Uh, I think we just try to win here. So we got three, four, five, six, seven. If I play flag zombie. We can go two, three, four, five, six. We don't really need to going viral here. All right, I think this is fine. So it's gonna be flag zombie. More difficult cards, you know, to remove. Ugh. Cherry bomb doesn't even kill us, come, bro. Come on. Man. So Weed Whack will, will mess this up. Those other powers are Scorch and Button Shrooms. We're proccing the block here. This lives though. This dies. I guess playing around Weed Whack and frenzying this one is probably a good idea. We really need the Electric Blueberry to die here. Yeah, I mean, we whack lane one. It doesn't really do a lot. We're we're actually it's possible to to to, to oh that didn't do anything against weed whack. Whoops. Okay, I'm sorry, brain fart. I I, I was so worried about this dying, but dying is not the threat. The threat. Sorry, that was just a terrible play. Was there something better? Or do I guess hold weed whack is the play. There's that. And there's no way for us to deal with a lane that's, well, it's only five damage. We can double going viral to kill this, so that actually does end up making a difference. Double going viral does a lot here. It kills the, 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 kills the problem. Uh, I mean, he's a berry blast away from killing us. So we got two, one, and five, and we don't go for laser, I guess. Where should the six, six go? I guess here. I mean, this will be a three, five. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess we'll do it like this. It's again, seven, eight. Nice synergy, by the way, between Buried Treasure, which wants to be covered, and Chungus Yeti, who wants to cover things. So, I mean, he's a, he's a removal card away from winning right now. Yeah, that works too. Too bad. Number one and two. We gotta win uh, seven games in a row for it to be a yes. That it's so funny because that defensive end was so good, and the blueberry was just the answer, man. Defensive end on four, then electric blueberry on four. Nemesis. Still doable, guys. Got flags now, but I think I'll um, I think I'll keep this and we'll go for the conjures. Let's see what happens here. We got Neptuna on one, pretty good. Both just to put a fifth minion on the field and also to uh, to go first. Yeah, this deck will you know a deck with a lot of berry blasts and and um. Cherry bombs and stuff. I mean, it's kind of what we lost both games to. We lost the first one, the Shrinking Violet, and the second one, the ch Cherry Bomb, of all things. Interesting. I should be keeping Lux going. This is interesting now. Uh, this is a pretty good... This is a better turn three combo. I'm actually going to pass here and just let him bury bless this. Or that could happen. 
Banana bomb. Oop. This just goes a really, really long way. I'm gonna probably use both, spend both buried treasures and cover them. No point in keeping them around here. So it's gonna be two. We want this hit first. Uh, we'll do this here. And hopefully one of these conjures. We're conjuring three cards right now. Hopefully one. That costs one. It's close. Hopefully one of them will be playable. And get a fourth minion on the field. That I mean, some really high quality cards. But yeah, it's all expensive, so we don't get another shot. Putting the flags out here not only makes a good trade, but it buffs the middle manager to 2 2, so. Very blessed. These cards all increase by one, but again, the, the space time, you know, changing the, the cost of them is permanent, so we can play for sure Tank Thesaurus is gonna get a lot of value here. Do we get one more card here? Two and two looks good. Oh, hell yeah. And if these space, if the space time hits face, I think Losaurus gets an extra shot. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> hell yeah. <coughs> yeah, it was a six cost plank walker. I have Fly Zombie. Let's just try to get another one drop here. We might do this on turn three. The Flag Space Time combo on three, and then the one drops. Maybe it's better. Maybe I should just be going for that. Preferably. Anyway, there's not enough to put here on turn two. I think the flag can can yeah well and it has to go here now. So we'll put space time first so these conjures are less. Squirrel. Um, that's pretty good. I mean, it keeps the maybe I should do the squirrel next turn though. It just kills a two two, but the two doesn't really matter. I'm actually not gonna play the squirrel yet. Because I want these guys to be able to get buffed. That's an interesting firework, zombie. <laughs> Freena. Uh, kind of wish I could play Squirrel now. I'll go for, like, Laser Base Alpha now. Laser Base Frenzy? Could go for going viral, too. If he doesn't front this, we'll go in viral. <laughs> Otherwise, gotta kill this three not sooner than later. Oh. Squirrel will be good next turn. This goes up to three attack. Should I go in viral or should I laser here and kill this card? It would be going Viral Frenzy or Laser Frenzy. I think it's... I'm gonna go with my gut, which is like going Viral. And I'll Frenzy this for the line. <laughs> and we'll go for the, uh, for the Squirrel for sure this turn. I, I could even, um, um, Fireworks here. It's not a bad Fireworks to kill this before he buffs anything else. And then we can still squ squirrel. It would just be fireworks squirrel. These cards also go up. I think I like it. I think this is fine. These get insanely strong. Is it better to laser here than to squirrel? No, nah, we'll squirrel. Shamrock it. Jungi. Jungi Wongi. Doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, he's stacked up against this. So this dies. 
Save fireworks for the environment. I don't think of that. <laughs> so space time and then either um either laser or going viral should be really good here. Conjure another card. So. Good uh I it might even cover the one one space time with this Yeti. Kind of depends. We're going to be drawing two cards here. Well, that's one of them. We could go two and five. It's pretty good. I think I like it. And we'll see if we can get a, you know, uh, an imp. There's a, most imps like cost one, right? So one cost imp, which will go down to zero, goes a long way here. A long freaking way. That's what I'm talking about. This thing's deadly too. Sheesh. So this will go here and it becomes a deadly 4-4. Ridiculous. Look at this field now. Look at Yeti absolutely. Like what is he supposed to do about this this board now, man? <coughs> you have going viral on deck? Oh, that's crazy. It's, he's spending his turn dealing with one of the many problems here. Oh, that's fine. Hell yeah. Conjures again. Uh, okay, another imp. I'll take it. Let's turn seven. Um, I gotta just decide what we're doing here. We can't play all three of these, so I might as well play this card, which is better, and then play two of them. They get to eight. It's good to me. Conjures are two now. Obviously, space time stack with each other, also. So, going viral and laser, I guess. The cool thing about lasering here is that this is frenzy, so this actually hits twice, which is pretty ridiculous. Hell yeah. Going far also made this. This hit twice. So these both of these are double striking here. Oh my gosh, you're six. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now four and five just wins. None of his superpowers can prevent this either, even if super... Oh, uh... Well, now four and four wins now. Look at this. Look at this play. This frenzy strike through. Space time is gonna kill him. So cool. Great game. This is so much fun. I mean, we're we're three and two. We lost to a couple of decks with some significant fuel clear, but it's just so much fun, you know. <coughs> How many people we got here today? One seventy-five. Not bad. One seventy-five. One seventy-five. Uh, looking for another one drop. Man, why is everyone running Solar Flare? Bruh. Okay. Guess this goes in the water. <laughs> I like Solar Flare. It doesn't have Scorch though, so I don't have to play around that. Another flag. There's no point in keeping buried treasure rounds. I guess it's just flag here, buried treasure. Maybe it will get like an injured domestic something playable here. Okay, well, play it next turn. Even if he kills flags, I'm still playable. How's your cold? My cold's basically better, but I have just a sore throat from all the coughing. I have a thing called bronchospasm apparently. 
uh, which means after you have like a throat spit after you recover from a cold while you're healing you just cough a lot even if you're not sick it's just part of the healing process oh come on i wanted to block there oh well so it goes more spore on one and then pop shroom pop room on two sheesh So we can play Flag Zombie for free here. We'll have this later. Is blocking a good thing? <coughs> I wonder if we want to block here. I think I'll do it. Make the good trades. I should make a Bronto deck for a Bronco illness. So I got, I got some medicine. It's just a little inhaler. Oh, wait. It looks like we are uh, going to get our extra shot here. I'd love to see it. Bra? Ramp. This has a, a decent chance of just dying here, though. Is Encrypt good to use right now? Because it makes this trade better. I think it is. Again, also, we get the same shot out of this. I could have used it next turn. Probably not worth it. Get the twin sunflower. Don't go face, though, in a board with eight, with six things on it. He went face. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, you're useless. What happens first, the sun or the card draw? I think the card draw happens first. So this can actually not make sun, theoretically. So much for that. So we'll go with one of these. It's another shot. <laughs> it's not. We're getting the worst. Oh my gosh. Tanglosaurus. Now, how come when I faced Tanglosaurus, aka last stream, it, it was perfect. It was godlike. And for me, it literally went face and then hit the two worst minions on the field by far. Come on, man. Never lucky. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if he cop cannons me. Oh my, oh. Oh, that one hurt. I can't even do anything now. Holy crap. He only has one card though, and we can easily kill this. I don't know, man. Do we want to even go face for one damage? It doesn't do anything. I think we'll put this here. deal with this next turn <laughs> so flag zombie's still alive we have two and three it's pretty good we'll see if we get another one drop here uh that doesn't count no not count it's gonna get scorched i guess i have to deadly this anyway play another cop cannon i, I think we're fine because he only has two cards Problem with mushroom decks, it takes just too many mushrooms, and if they don't kill your opponent, we're at 14 health. If they don't kill the opponent, you don't got any cards left. That's why I like like mid flare that you just play one card per turn when you ramp and you just never run out of steam. Yeet. Yeet like a slice of meat. Probably scooping something here is really good, right? Pretty sure we're giving Flag Zombie Le Scoop. <laughs> the damage 1-1. One, one. That's the most useless card. This at least does something here. Never mind. Of course the California rolled. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If, if we lose this game because of that. Don't get... Okay. Okay. You're right. That's actually better than Scorch. Way better. This is... I'm, I, this is not... We have to win this game, guys. As long as this guy doesn't pull out some BS. So this is going to be 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two, two, uh, two, Damn, why, why is this what I'm conjuring so bad? Give me a toxic waste temp or something. Two. Would I go for going viral here? Yes, sir. <coughs> so 
the twins. Bruh, you know I have laser. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's a cool Chrome mag. That's his last card, though, so that's the good news. This, with going viral, is not going to survive, so we laser that. Pretty damn good. So this just got a 4 4 and a tap deck. Got 4 4 and a prayer. So it's 2 2 3 is playable. Question is, how do I do this? I think this is the one you kind of want to be in the environment. We can go 2-2 two, two and going viral. Kind of for the win. It's probably better, right? It means he has to front. He has to take care of two problems here. Alright, 2-2. Two, two. I mean, he could... He could end up... You know what? I'm playing it safe. Because if he puts damage here and he rolls double ones, then we're screwed. I know this makes fewer swabbies now, but it's okay. For real? Oh my gosh. Kinda happy that I <laughs> played conservatively. <coughs> Maybe I should have made more going virals. Of course he blocks. Did he California roll again? No, 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 no. He did not. He did not. He did not. His, his block resolves first because strike through zombie happens before strike through plant. Because that makes sense. Frenzy. Ugh. Can I have a minion here, please? That's not the one. That's not what I wanted. I guess this goes here. Yeah, extra swabby means extra going viral. I, I, I just didn't the top deck could go another second going viral here. It's possible. There's the seed. Uh, second going viral wins. Otherwise, we're in huge doo doo. For the win? For the win? Imagine top decking. No. It's still in a top deck situation, man. And this, this Aspicado doesn't kill us. He rolled double threes again! Stop rolling double th Oh my gosh, stop rolling double threes. Holy crap. Is there any point in playing this card here? Not really. Bro, stop rolling threes. You're gonna make me lose. Don't get a strike through minion. A strike through minion wins now. Probably. Don't get a damn strike through minion. Top deck. This is the top deck minion. That's fine. Oh, if you knew how little I give a damn. Okay. So, oh, well, no, Scorch. It doesn't matter. He needs weed. Did he get weed whack yet? I don't remember. All the solar flares. Just a blur of solar flares today. Scorch doesn't do anything. Gosh. Considering all the threes this guy rolled, man. Oh. So happy we got the dub. Sheesh. That's what I'm talking about. You can't beat the luck deck with luck. It's not how it works. Can't do it. We own... I am luck. I don't have 84 stars. This just shows you how much I've been playing. I usually don't get this high. I don't even know when the season's. Do we know when the season's ending? It's in three days. I've just been. I've been sick the last few weeks. I've just been playing PvZ Heroes in my bed. That's what I've been doing. I've been playing. Uh, what was the deck? I've been playing the the ramp to. What's it called? <coughs> well deserved. We can pull it off though. We got four more wins now. And doable. Let's get this nice starting hand here. Okay. Yeah, that works. It works. Flag swarm time, bait bitches. You know, way too close for comfort, am I right? <coughs> Should I play around Spike Weed Sector? You can't really remove a 1 3. Oh, yeah, that settles it. So it's flag zombie. Play this first. Just see what we conjure. Let's feel out the uh, 
the, the options we got. Might as well conjure again first. Sheesh, that's a really good fossil, man. I should probably just run fossil head in this deck. I guess there's only two cards can cover, but that's that is fine. That is a really, really good. Look at this board, man. Anything that he damages. Any of these professionals, it just makes it even worse. So we got Bounty Hunter, two cost Bounty Hunter, and Fossil Head. Holy crap, this is good. The, the question is, should I be even, you know, I, I'm definitely playing Bounty Hunter here. The question is, what, what should the Fossil Head cover? Like, it seems like Flag Zombie is better than these, but not really. And a full board, we don't have like an, a Chungus Yeti that we're going to need to play for cheap. I'm going to actually cover the Flag Zombie. Sort of simultaneously making this cost too, but we pulled it off. That way, if he tries to block the four damage, you know, these middle managers are a threat. Brawl. Gosh. <laughs> I hate Ice Boar. It's just a stupid card. I talk so much about Shamrocket, but honestly, it's just because people run Shamrocket more. Ice Boar is just... I Remove anything for two costs, man. It's just not a balanced card. I'm not saying it's great. It's just not balanced. So, the options are, we got three, three and one, we could go for, well, it's not four, I guess it's three, this is also a, um, a professional, though, let's go for, th let's go for three and one, I guess, we have to blow at some point. Bro. This is fine, even if we bounce the wall, not this dies. Okay, we land the round. We're doing a lot of damage here. These two middle managers go up to 2-2 to two, two now. Since they're both professionals getting here, they buff each other. Laser looks really good, so it's 2 and laser. I'm not gonna say Ice Spore is a control card. Neither is Shamrocket. People make this mistake where they think Shamrocket's a control. It's a tempo card. It's a cheap, rem a cheap card that gets a lot of value. Same thing with Ice Spore. It's not really a control card because it kind, <laughs> it needs a second card to be played with it. You know, it doesn't really work out on a control deck. Um, it's a little decision where to play this laser. You know, killing the Twin Sunflower, there's something to it, but this doesn't even die. I I'll, I'll just... I'll just play this here. It covers the environment, too. This guy's all armored up. He gets a ramp, though. There's the cop cannon is harsh here. Wants to be another conjure card. Only costs one because space time's on the field. He's actually debating us. Okay, but that's all he does. He has eight sun and he just plays this environment. I mean, he loses here now, so Geyser will save him. Bubble doesn't do anything. Bubble's the one card that doesn't save him. Now he just dies here. That was really awkward how he had eight sun and nothing to do with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> a cop cannon? A cop cannon combo would have cleared our field. That would have probably been the end of the game. So we're really lucky he didn't have any good cards. <sighs> you guys have been playing Pokemon Violet? Is that just a Nintendo Switch King? I don't have a Switch. Maybe I should get one. I love Pokemon. I got addicted to, like, the Roblox Pokemon game called Doodle World lately. You guys want to see me play Pokemon Violet? I love Pokemon, man. It's my favorite freaking things. Let's see if this man has a forget-me-nuts. <laughs> nope.
Black Ivy. Only trick we have is something that kills Black Ivy. Honestly, these trade well. I'm, I'm just gonna develop second space time and middle manager, and I'll go from there. This could conjure a playable card. It's gotta cost two or less. <laughs> In these situations, I always get something expensive, but it's okay. Why not the Pokemon card game? I, you know, the, the new Pokemon card game is is very much based on like EX Pokemon, which I'm not. I don't know. That kind of got me burnt out of it. But like the old school Pokemon card game, that's how I got into card games. Like that, that, that's such just basic jungle fossil, old school Pokemon. Yeah. Did he use time to shine to kill the space? Huh? People are not don't respect. They don't respect the value, insane value you can get from time to shine, man. Weird. We got a freeze. I think this and freeze should be fine. I'm kind of committing to. Well, we're not even because just freeze actually this would be a 3-2. We're still in the tree. <coughs> People use time to shine way too liberally, man. You got it. It's a game winning card. You got it. Again, if it can tilt the whole tempo of a game, that's one thing. Yeah. Here we go. Just conjuring these expensive cards, man. Hey, Rumble actually just a lot here. Man. Just no Rumble and we're good to go. Or we could be saving it for next turn. That would be a mistake though, because we got to this going on. So this is stuck at, at well, 5. I wonder if I just buff the space time and, and just contest this thing. It kind of dies pretty bad to plant food. Honestly, it's only five damage. Let's go face. Screw it. Imagine if he was holding rumble and then this happens. I guess we'll find out right now. It was protect. That's okay though. That doesn't do anything. He does six damage and then he loses instantaneously. We're six and two. Guys, we're running this back. This is you know, we're we're two games away from the eight and two guys. Look at the domination of Chungus Yeti. Holy crap. That's what I'm talking about. Chungus, really good idea. Thank you. It was oof to oof to oof. Thank you, whatever your name was. Thank you so much for the suggestion, though, because, oh, man. I love Flag Kanji. Let's get a nice game with turn three combo with Flag and Space Time in the same deck. I'm all about it. Yeti Tribal? What? I have, like, an all-out Yeti deck somewhere on YouTube. Look at that. Who here wants to see me play Pokemon? Yes or no? Pokemon Violet. I don't know. I'm, before I play another game, I'm going to wait till I actually feel better because I can only handle one screen per day, but that's definitely the kind of game I would like. I don't know. I kind of, honestly, I'm a huge Nintendo fan and I think they have the best games. I think it's just the best gaming publisher, but it's kind of BS that they don't publish anything on PC. Like, you have to buy a Switch and then every game costs $80. I don't know about that. They're really expensive, the games, though, too. I don't know, it's 60 but and when you start converting that into Canadian money, it's like... It's like 80 bucks. I love Pokemon, though. What can I say? I, did I not mulligan? I didn't even mulligan. I was spaced out. I kind of... I didn't mulligan this hand, right? Oh my gosh, this deck with no mulligan is, is a nightmare. <laughs> Play this first and hope for something good. Did I just did I just not mulligan? What did I just do? No, I did. I, I mulliganed into this hand. Oh my gosh. I probably should have switched this up. 
Switch, Switch games are sick. Right, I mean, the culture of Nintendo sucks, but their actual dedication to make just absolutely fantastic games is... It's something else. This will actually buff the Raptor next turn when it pops out, so... I think it's worth it. Man. It also buffs the genetic experiment. <laughs> I had three Chungus Yetis that I mulligan. Yeah, a little amnesia. Nintendo demands very strict control over so many things that they just won't allow the openness of PC games. Yeah, because they can get pirated. It's so much harder to pirate a Nintendo Switch game than a PC game. I, I mean, I get it. In, these, in this day and age, man. I guess I get it. Man, the spike weed sector is going to mess us up. We don't have any environments. We don't have a going viral either just to keep the health of these minions up, so... Draws cards. He comes or something. Can we get an environment from this? We can. Can I please? Uh, close enough. Problem is, none of these cards are really playable. This is rough. I mean, I guess I just don't play into the environment this turn, huh? We don't need to really buff this. Yeah. It's a king. We just really, really need an environment. I got two four fours, a seven to four three, and a four four on the field. Let's just die, so. Bro, come on, man! It actually buffs this now. <laughs> Idiot. It's okay. It's nice. Just blocking five damage. You know, so it makes sense. Where is our three laser base alphas? Please. Going viral actually helps because now we can play into these. I'll probably go like one. Well. One, one going viral? I, I think so. Which card do we play though? I guess this one, right? There you go. That does not block it unless he upgrades, though. Okay, okay, you know what? Because he's going on so little health right now, that's probably a valid time to shine. That would have killed him. I mean, it was a desperation. Not a great situation for him, but... Desperation time to shine, I guess. It's alright. Another going viral keeps this alive. He's almost dead. Oh boy, we close. Uh, King looks good, though. King going viral looks really good. King me dog. This king probably should have been played here. Doesn't really matter. Bro, really? Who cares? Uh. Let's do this four. Where's my laser? Okay. That got blocked. Oh, damn it. We're sitting on 18 health. This guy's just really struggling to control us here. Going viral is obviously going a long way. See, now I, uh, I need another going viral here. Um, I, I think probably conjuring something is our best bet here, right? <laughs> I'll probably just go for Max Conjure. This will die. <coughs> yes! Yes! That is what we needed right there. If the deadly. Alright, it's good. Is Fireworks a good play here?
I mean, in case he has an amphibious minion, so then Deadly will win. This card, which conjures, will actually proc the Mondo Bronto. But yeah, that this is just a real nightmare for for him to deal with. Uh, Shamrocket is the is the main out here. <coughs> Cucumber, but that uh, doesn't do a damn thing. It's guaranteed. All right, guys, we brought it all the way back from like one and two. It's guaranteed lethal. It is guaranteed. Let's just be him. So, yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> We're just like that in a 7 and 2 scenario. Let's go. Spam it up, guys. This one decides the bets. A lot of, a lot of fries on the line. Someone vote. For, see, I think most people did vote yes, but one guy voted 51.1k fries on no. So right now the votes say 67% vote of the fries are on are on no right now. So huge payout if we win this game. Don't like that in your starting hands. Give me a flag. This is fine. Kind of the next best thing. All right, we'll keep that. Hands. Okay. <coughs> so just trying to think towards playing around this uh the, the superpower. I'm gonna go space time now. We have deadly for next turn as an option. So we'll we'll either go like one 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 or we'll go one and two, something like that. Raccoon. That time that's a, that's a nice Nice escape through time here. You're gonna protect something for real cheap. That's cool. So one, one, and one looks really good. I'm gonna develop this sooner than later here because we want it to grow. That's a that's free. It's free, guys. I'd rather take the two damage to face. So teleportation zombie. You know, if somehow he removes. I don't know how we would remove a two one right now. But, um, oh, that's harsh. The Frenzy is good. Space Time goes down. Space Time conquers the card, so it actually doesn't go down. This Frenzy is really, really good. It breaks all the way through, not only doing three damage to face, but more importantly, killing this really stacked Roto Vega. That's a good teleportation zombie, man. Oh, the Conjurers? That's a two cost four four. That is what I'm talking about. Die. Don't let it blow. We'll blow the next card. If he plays a big card now, he loses. The blow is so efficient. I'm going to play around Shrinking Violet, I guess. So we'll go... to... Is there a point in playing this? I think to Conjure, and it also allows us to play Yeti next turn. We're not going to probably play more than just blow here. I'm probably not going to deadly. <coughs> I think it's fine. He's got four sun. This is turn four, guys. <laughs> I know. I know it don't look like it. But this is turn four. So it's an easy escape through time. I don't care about this card. We gotta just keep the momentum going. Cool. Do you have any sports zombies? This isn't sports. I'm professional. Freezes that. It's okay. <laughs> It still grows and lives next turn, so we've got a lot of momentum here. So, Chung is not really an option yet. There might be a play where we just teleport in Chungus. If he kills the teleportation, I feel like the teleportation zombie is the worst card on the board right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let him kill this and shrinking violet or whatever and we'll anyway have blow deadly i think we'll be okay here because teleporting in a big chungus yeti it's gonna do 
so much freaking damage here. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This should be lethal by doing this play. Ah, uh, but he actually procs his own block. Okay. I mean, it's a good play either way, but he probably blocks now because he, he pings himself. Can we roll a 1? Just just for the, the bets, just for the... I don't know. So now it's super okay. Here she blows. It's fine. We gotta really put a body on this 5-5 now. We're really in, in danger. So, blow and something. What is the play here? These two are lethal, so blow goes a long way. How about two, one, four, five? Or two. I'm gonna do it like. I'm gonna do this one just because it feels the safest against against removal. <coughs> we can always deadly this. Come on, man. Double freeze. So Blow has a has a one in uh, has a two out of three chance of just winning just by doing this. Can we please not hit the five five? Yep, that's guaranteed lethal now. Got him. Yep, and that's it. And guys, just like that. What a what a great stream and what a deck to do it, man. Flag Conjure, one of my favorite absolute decks of all time, with the comeback when the app the distance. Winning the 8 and 2, that is what I'm talking about. So I think this is better than the last version with Pogo and Mug and Warlord. I don't know, but it's viable. The, the, I mean, the Chungus Yeti got it done. I mean, it's not, this is it's no joke. Flag and, flag and Primeval Yeti is good. It's kind of, there's something, you know, rather than playing Warlord and Pogo and Mug, which kind of, you know, gets a lot of value, there is something for once you've just spread your, your field and played your, played your hands. Putting a bunch of little guys in the field just to throw a, a, a you know a primeval yeti on top of it and just take over the game. I mean, we had six sixes on the board. You just couldn't do anything about it. That was definitely a score this last game. Hell yeah, we eating good is right. Hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. That was the new version of Flag Conjungus. That's a that's a that's a contagious disease, guys. Got to watch out for conjungus. Make sure you get that, I don't know, vaccinated, I don't know. I don't think they came out with the Conchungus vaccination yet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hell yeah. Peace. This is for life.